the 30 Project is really an attempt to crowdsource a vision for a better food system long term. In the last 30 years, our food system has gotten a lot worse off, and there's a billion people hungry and a billion people obese today. And I think we have to find a plan and a vision for what is the next 30 years going to look like. We have a much better food system where people can eat nutritious foods wherever they live. I'm Ellen. I am the founder and executive director of The 30 Project. Tonight in San Francisco, we are launching The 30 Project dinner campaign. So my name is Michael Hebb, I'm here today because I'm the creative director of The 30 Project. Met Ellen eight months ago in Washington, D.C. during one of my dinners, and they uh, told me about The 30 Project initiative, and I said, well, I think we should get 30 people at 30 dinners in three years around the country. The table's where it's at. Like, if we can get 900 um, of the top people within food, the most interesting, compelling people within food, to sit at 30 dinners. We've gathered corporate leaders and the, the head of organizations to sit down at the same table and say, what is our vision around this table for a healthier food system? And we'll hit 30 cities around the country, including the Midwest and the South and all different places to get a snapshot of what everyone thinks about the food system and how they want it to be different in the future. And San Francisco obviously is a great place to start because the San Francisco food system is really progressive compared to many places around the country. This was actually a freeway entrance and when it collapsed in the 89 earthquake, this team of incredible people kind of gathered together and in the last year they've created this farm. The structure we're underneath is a, um, it's a hoop house kit that we've modified, a set of cold frames, corrugated PVC sort of sheeting and uh, we've knitted it together to make this one long house. The table um, is 30 feet long. We've used reclaimed pallet slats that were available in the area. We've woven them into a kind of fabric that can be rolled up and stored. We built it in three days on the site. It doesn't matter where you are, who you are, you can actually create an incredible dinner, an incredible space, and have a really important, meaningful conversation at the table. Uh, then I invited a bunch of chef friends said, you know, let's have remarkable local food, and let's pay local farmers and buy the amazing stuff that they have. So we got a beautiful lamb from uh, very far north in California. So we made a, a sausage from the shoulders, a merguez, and then uh, the legs were braised with a little bit of orange zest, za'atar, so nice and rich. Hope you guys enjoy. At the table while we're eating, we hope that you have informal conversations around the food system. But what we would also like to do is make toast to the food system of the future. So what do you want to be different about the food system in 30 years? And what can you do as an individual or what can we do collectively to make that happen? I see a, a producer culture rather than a consumer culture where we emphasize the skills, resources, education, knowledge. I'd like to propose a toast to the farmers who provide organic ingredients, organic cheese, organic wheat, and some of those who are brave enough to take their conventional farms and work through that time period of conversion. Food as that basic building block for religion for thousands of years has an enormous power. And the food movement, it's really intimate, it's also really broad and can be very powerful. And so I don't want to start a 30-year vision with something that is any less radical than totally reshaping Western culture. There's lots of people on the ground who are thinking about doing small organics, distributing, growing small amounts of food, doing small restaurants. And I think that in the future, all of the people who have energy around small local businesses and food right now will have both the economic and the social support to create localized food systems that can feed everyone healthy food. My 30-year vision is that everyone has equal access to food there is no more hunger or food insecurity, and that access to food isn't determined by where you live or how much money you have. If kids are learning how to grow stuff and eat stuff, and it's just part of their educational lives, you know, half the work is done right there. I think we'll get to that vision of a fully sustainable, healthy food system by uh, encouraging local production, by encouraging people to engage with the story of their food, and hopefully in so doing, we'll actually see the food system as something we can change, impact, adjust to meet a vision that we think is going to be equitable and productive and helpful for all. At the end of the day, we're in an urban farm in a major city eating some of the most incredible food, most of which was procured right in this community. And that's actually, the, the act of doing that is actually almost the model for what we can do across our country and across our world to create a better food system. Raise a glass and round of applause for both the chefs and then all of the wonderful friends who are helping us serve and make this happen and all of the people that built this. So I think we'd like, let's just put it, put our hands together and glass. <laughs>